I'm hoping this little video will show you uh, the process for uh, adjusting servo control signals using a GF controls, 8-way servo board and setter box. The signals are mounted uh, on a little frame on which they'll be transported and that represents the way that they'll be installed eventually on the layout. The servos are mounted underneath and uh, you may be able to see them uh, in there. The lights that you can see are LEDs driven by a 9 volt battery and the light from those passes up to the signal lamps through fibre optics. The servo board from GF controls will control up to eight servos. On these signals there are only five operating arms to bother about so there are only five servos connected. In operation we'll use on off switches to drive uh, to the servos uh, and in the setting mode we use the setter box. <clears throat> the connections have all been made with the signals and the servos in what's called a safe mode. That's the signals halfway between clear and danger and the servos are all locked in the mid position by the, setter bo by the servo board uh, in its safe mode. I'll now switch the servo board out of safe mode which means the servos can now be adjusted. <clears throat> First thing is to put the setter box into servo select mode <clears throat> and then adjust servo number one. There we are. And now we can set servo number one or signal number one to the danger position. We do that simply by turning the adjustment knob and the servo will move the signal down to the horizontal, about there. <clears throat> now move to the adjust clear position. The signal has gone back to uh, the position it was in previously, which we now increase the movement up to a fully clear position, about there. Go back to the danger position, and clear. Those look about right to me. <clears throat> and you can see there the feature of the uh, servo board. It's ensuring that there's a bit of bounce when the signal returns. Now to adjust number two. Select servo number two. Adjust danger. Turning it the right way this time. And now we're just clear. Turn it the other way and increase the movement to the clear position. And now we can move between the two. And so on. Number three, adjust danger. If we just zoom in a little bit with the camera, you should be able to see that. So, there we have it. Having gone through all the five working arms, we now have all the signals adjusted for the danger and the clear position. It's now time to disconnect the setter box. So first of all, we turn off the power. <coughs> disconnect the setter box from the servo board, put that to one side and reconnect the power again. Now that the power is connected without any twitch on the servo as you'll notice, we can now using the simple on off switches test the signals out. Number one, back to danger. Number two, and back to danger. Number three, and back to danger. Number four, and back to danger. 
and number five. And back to danger. And that is it. I think all those are now properly adjusted. Just to show the effect of setting the um, servo board into the safe mode, you can see what happens to the signals when I do that. All the settings for danger and clear will be lost and the signals will move to about halfway between danger and clear. There's the switch just to just that and they all move one after another. And that's it. All those are now in what's called the safe position. And that will be ready for transporting in that way.